Good evening and welcome to the Vice-Chancellor's Outstanding Alumni Awards. I'm Professor Aletha Norval, Deputy Vice-Chancellor of, of Education here at Anglia Ruskin University and your compare for this evening. This evening we'll present the awards for each of our seven categories and then invite the winners of each award to make a short speech. I would now like to welcome our Vice-Chancellor, Professor Roderick Watkins, onto the stage. Good evening. I'm delighted to welcome you tonight to our Alumni Award ceremony, albeit virtually. This is a fantastic opportunity for us to offer our alumni public recognition for their achievements in their chosen fields and professions, and particularly where their study at ARU has contributed to that success. The calibre of our nominees has been outstanding, and it was a great pleasure to read through all of the nominations received for this year's Alumni Awards. I'd especially like to thank Sally Wade, Paul Bogle, Daryl Brown, and Yuka Eminoff for taking the time to review those nominations and for joining me on the judging panel to determine our finalists for this evening's event. It's been fantastic to learn more about the success of our alumni, and we're proud to recognize your dedication, passion, and your commitment with these awards. And our alumni continue to demonstrate themselves as inspirational role models to our students, our staff, and to the wider community. I do hope you'll enjoy the evening ahead and that you will join us in congratulating our alumni and celebrating their accomplishments. Our first Outstanding Alumni Award this evening is the Alumni Entrepreneur of the Year Award. This award recognises alumni who have made a transformative tr contribution to the local, national or international community through an enterprising business venture. Our finalists are Khalifa Al Haroun. Khalifa, who graduated with an LLB in law in 2007, is listed as one of the most influential people in the Middle East under 40, and is the founder of the ILQ network, a content-driven platform celebrating the diversity of the Qatari community. Following its launch in 2008, the network has now become the country's biggest digital network reaching millions of people around the world through its online brands. Khalifa has since created Rakhami, which has amassed over 5 million subscribers and followers on YouTube and Facebook, becoming one of the world's biggest Arabic tech channels. Other ventures include The Social Studio, which has become the region's premier entertainment and inter events company after creating the Middle East's Comedy Festival, and Store 974, the region's fastest growing PC component and electronics retail stores. To date, Khalifa has supported over 52 charitable causes and community initiatives, focusing on workers' welfare, animal welfare, and mental health. He chose to study in the UK because of its multiculturalism, and credits his experience here as being the catalyst for his community-focused entrepreneurial spirit. Faye Holland. After graduating with a BA in music in 1992, Faye founded Cofinitive, a multi-award-winning communications consultancy, which is one of the 130 most influential businesses in Cambridge and was ranked number two in Business Weekly's 2020 New Year's Honours List following two decades in international technology communications. Entrepreneur and tech communications guru Fay works tirelessly at the heart of our diverse and innovative business community, ever driving Cambridge's global reputation as the UK Centre for Technology, Innovation and Science. When not working with clients, she pays it forward, helping to drive business growth across our region. And the winner is Khalifa Al Haroun and Faye Holland, as the judges felt that each had distinguished themselves professionally 
and are inspirational role models for the next generation of alumni. So we'd like to first invite Faye to accept this award. Sorry about that. I'm, I've been on two awards events this evening, so it's all rather, rather too much for me. Thank you very much. I'm absolutely deli delighted. Um, very generous of you to award the two of us. So that's brilliant. Um, as the introduction said, I've, I've spent the last 30 years since graduating, 30 years, carving a career in a highly male dominated environment in the world of technology. Um, but my own experiences have really led me to pursue a path of encouraging diversity and being an, an arts person, actually that diversity is as much in thought and being creative as it is in any other kind of, of diversity. And I have to say, I, I'm a huge advocate of ARU. I um, take interns on work experience. I'm in the employment forum. ARU is part of my blood. And every time I drive past, I smile and actually you've now given me reason to smile even more. Um, huge congratulations to everyone. Um, every, we're all rock stars and hopefully we'll all meet up soon in the future as well. Thank you. And we'd like to now invite Khalifa to accept his award. Hi everyone, my name is Khalif Al Harun, also known as Mr. Q, you are friendly neighborhood Qatari by some. Before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much to the ARU faculty because the fact that you are putting together this event uh, means a lot and it shows that uh, you care about the students after they've gone off and done uh, their own thing. And of course, during my time in university, I was really appreciative of the fact that the staff and the professors always took the time to help me learn. So, uh, of course, I'm here today because of uh, ARU and uh, what ARU put into me, instilled into me. So, uh, thank you very much for selecting me for this award. I really, really appreciate it. It's troublesome times, you know, stressful times at the moment for everyone all over the world. And uh, this just uh, helped put an even bigger smile on my face. So, thank you so much and I really appreciate it. And, of course, with uh, ARU, you can't go wrong. ARU. AR me. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations to you both. Our second alumni award this evening is the Alumni Service to Society Award. This award recognizes alumni who have made an exceptional contribution and commitment to creating positive social change and improving the lives of others. Our finalists are Ruth Arengyan Abugo Epus Besong, Ruth graduated with a Master's of Business Administration in 2017 and is the founder and CEO of Investing in People Worldwide Cameroon, an active civil society organization involved in community development and people empowerment for community transformation and development within Cameroon. Ruth is a PhD fellow studying gender, gender and development at the University of Boya where she is currently training as a development expert to support her career as a humanitarian and a development professional. Zaire Alam. Dr. Zaire Alam graduated with a Master of Business Administration in 2018 and holds degrees from universities in Australia and the UK. He works as an urban strategist on projects relating to smart cities and urban regeneration in Africa. For his contribution to society, he was elevated by the President of Mauritius to the rank of Officer of the Order of the Star and the Key of the Indian Ocean, the highest distinct order of merit in Mauritius, and he is a recipient of a number of other awards. And the winner is Zahir Alam, who I'd like now to invite to accept his award. Thank you very much for this award. It's a great pleasure to be recognized for our work that we are doing, but it's an even greater honor that we get to contribute to projects uh, 
aiming towards building better communities, better cities, and better societal fabrics all around us. Um, it's also a great pleasure to be connected to such a great family that is uh, ERU um, through its alumni community. It's a very vibrant and dynamic community. And I look forward to engaging more deeply with the other honorees tonight and um, to share projects and hopefully engage in collaborative avenues. Unfortunately, it's it's not been possible to be here physically due to the coronavirus, the pandemic around us, but uh, I look forward to further engaging and to hopefully uh, work together towards building a better future for all. Thank you. Congratulations once again to both Zaire and our runner-up, Ruth. The third award we are presenting this evening is the Alumni Contribution to Culture Award. This award recognizes alumni who have made a considerable contribution to the local, national, or international cultural community. Our finalists are Christine Roskift. Christine is a Norwegian illustrator and author who studied illustration at Cambridge School of Art and Kingston University. She has written and illustrated eight picture books with themes of obsession with the alphabet, surreal dream homes, queuing and impossible beauty ideals. Her last book, Everybody Counts, is being translated into more than 30 languages and won the prestigious Nordic Council Children and Young People's Literature Prize. Joshua Winning. Joshua Winning is an author and film journalist who writes for Radio Times, Total Film and SFX, amongst others. He is the author of acclaimed psychological thriller, Vicious Rumor, and Cambridge set dark fantasy series, The Sentinel Trilogy, which was partly inspired by his time studying film and communications at Anglia Ruskin University. Joshua also co-wrote 80s teen horror novel, Camp Carnage, and his short story, Dead Air, was published in Speak My Language, an anthology of gay fiction. And the winner is Kristen Roskifter, who I'd like now to invite to accept her award. Well, uh, thank you so much. Um, thank you to the AIU for this uh, wonderful recognition. And um, it's a great honor, especially as, as I know that there are so many alumni out there that are doing amazing work. Um, I feel that I have the best and most rewarding job in the world working with children's books. Uh, and that journey started in Cambridge at Cambridge School of Art. Um, and um, I think, uh, especially because of all the great people I met, and I'd like to thank them all, um, especially uh, many of those that I'm still in touch with and that still inspire me and um, encourage me today. Um, and I'd also like to, to thank our course leader, Martin Salisbury, uh, for all your support, both back then, but also ever since. Um, it's actually been 23 years since I left Cambridge and I still sometimes ask for advice. Uh, and it's also been um, a great honour to be included in some of your books. I appreciate that a lot. Um, and I also appreciate this award so much. Thank you. Congratulations once again, Christine. And to our runner-up, Joshua Winning. Our fourth award is the Young Alumni of the Year Award, recognizing one of our alumni under 35 years of age who has distinguished themselves professionally since graduating from Anglia Ruskin and is likely to inspire the next generation of alumni. Our finalists are Emily Constantas. Emily is the founder of the Safeguarding Alliance an advisor, governor, and trustee to many organizations and schools. She has studied both a bachelor and master's in law and is currently working towards her PhD in international child protection law. Often a keynote speaker, Emily is an experienced trainer working in the United Kingdom, Europe, United States, 
and MENA and ASEAN regions. Emily is an expert school improvement partner and experienced change manager in the preparation for ISI, Ofsted and BSO inspections. Emily has contributed to the Education Select Committee in the United Kingdom during COVID-19, has featured on the BBC, Sky News and in many national newspapers. Emily continues to campaign for changes to safeguarding legislation in the United Kingdom. Melissa Cristalion. Melissa is a freelance illustrator based in Cambridge. She completed a BA in illustration in 2009 and an MA in children's book illustration in 2014. Since graduating, Melissa has illustrated nine books for children, written three, and in 2019 won the prestigious gold medal from the American Society of Illustrators for her wordless picture book, The Balcony which the New York Times included in their best children's books of 2019. And the winner is Emily Constantas. Congratulations, Emily. We'd like to invite you to accept your award. Thank you so much. Um, it's an absolute honour to accept this award. Um, I, I can honestly say my time at Anglia Ruskin has really driven me um, with, with the knowledge that I gained um, in terms of actually how powerful the law can be if you really truly understand it. Um, and it is this passion and drive that I will continue to try and implement the best in class um, legislative frameworks around child protection across the globe. Um, so I do absolutely have Anglia Ruskin to thank um, and also a special thank you to my grandmother because it wouldn't have been possible without her. So thank you so much. Congratulations to Emily and to Melissa as our runner up. In light of the global pandemic, we took the difficult decision to postpone our 2020 Vice-Chancellor's Outstanding Alumni Awards in April last year. However, over the past year, we have heard many inspiring stories of our staff, students and alumni leading by example to support the front line during the COVID-19 pandemic. We therefore wanted to formally recognise and reward these individuals which is why we introduced two new categories for the Alumni Awards this year, our Alumni Frontline Service Award and our Alumni Community Champion Award. I'm hugely proud of what AIU has achieved, our students, our staff and alumni, and the way in which we have preserved our values and ambition throughout this pandemic. I have no doubt that when eventually the threat of the pandemic is behind us, ARU will emerge as strong and remarkable a community as ever. Our next award is the Alumni Community Champion Award, which recognizes alumni whose outstanding voluntary work has helped sustain and support their community through the pandemic. Our finalists are Amelia Clapham, after completing her master's in music therapy at ARU in 2015, Amelia has worked in a variety of settings. Amelia has a particular interest in early intervention and helping under fives develop key skills. Amelia set up ACE Music Therapy CIC in 2017, as she has a passion for creating new music therapy posts and advocating music therapy. She's appeared on BBC Radio Essex numerous times. Alex Collis. Alex has 10 years experience of working in food poverty and community development and was a previous coordinator of Food Cycle Cambridge. She is now a vocal food poverty advocate and also a city councillor representing Kings Hedges Ward and leads on the council's anti-poverty work. She coordinated community meals across the city during COVID-19 as a volunteer and now run one, runs one of the city's eight community food hubs, supporting residents experiencing food poverty and is an ARU social policy graduate. Professor Roderick Watkins, please will you do the honours and announce our winner. The winner is 
Alex Collis. Congratulations, Alex. We'd like to invite you to accept your award. Well, thank you so much. What an incredible honour. Um, the effort that hundreds of people have put in over the past year across Cambridge supporting our communities is pretty incredible. Um, overseeing the community meals and working with such a fantastic group of volunteers, honestly, has been one of the biggest privileges I think I've ever had. And I want to thank all of them. Um, every single person who came and chopped vegetables, delivered meals, packed shopping bags, or helped out at one of the food hubs, which uh, there are nine now, in fact. Um, it simply wouldn't have happened without them. And they're still going because people still need that support. So thank you to them. This really is for them. Um, I'm not sure this is quite where I thought I'd end up when I was doing my social policy degree. Um, but of course, nobody would have predicted the last 12 months. Um, so here we are. Um, it's led me in some odd but always interesting directions. Um, and I have my tutors in that department to thank. So thank you all very much. Congratulations to Alex and to Emilia as our runner up. Now we present the Alumni Frontline Service Award, recognizing alumni who have worked on the front line, making an extraordinary contribution to the fight against COVID-19 through their role as a key worker during the global pandemic. Here we have defined a key worker as a public sector or private sector employee, providing an essential service during the COVID-19 global pandemic. Our finalists are, Dr. Ankur Agarwal. Dr. Agarwal is a British expat to India who has trained as a urologist and laparoscopic surgeon over the last 15 years. He now operates in New Delhi and Agra in India. Dr. Agarwal has been actively involved in charity health camps and surgery with an NGO in India. He enjoys doing his bits for the community regularly and is proud to have been able to serve throughout the pandemic. David Wells. David is recognized as being one of the 100 powerful advocates for pathology in the global community. David is leading the NHS England and Improvement Pathology Consolidation Program, seeking to deliver efficient, high quality pathology services across England. David is currently leading the NHS England's laboratory response to COVID-19, advising ministers and providing policy and strategic direction. In recognition of his work, the Royal College of Pathologists awarded David Honorary Fellowship of the College in 2020. And the winners are Anchor Agarwal and David Wells, as the judges felt that both had played a hugely significant role on the front line and are inspirational role models for the next generation of alumni. So we'd like to first invite Anchor to please accept his award. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for the recognition of my services throughout COVID. Uh, unfortunately, the pandemic is still pretty strong in India. and My work goes on and I will continue to serve and uh, do as much as I can as long as it does not affect me as badly as it has for the patients that I've treated. Thank you, Andy Arsene University, for keeping uh, a check on us and how well we do when we leave the university and go back into the communities where we belong from. I wish you all good health and uh, no more COVID. Thank you. I'd like to now invite David to accept his award.
So thank you very much indeed. Uh, it's a huge honour to be recognised for this award. Um, my, my year of the pandemic started back in January 2020, where uh, there was a novel virus and we had no uh, sizable ability to test for it. Now, roll forward something like 17 months and we're able to test any, every single person in the country who requires a test for COVID-19. I represent uh, a huge number of individuals, uh, biomedical scientists working 24-7, seven days a week, uh, serving our communities um, across the world. And I would say thank you for this award, but I would definitely give it in recognition to all the people who are working uh, to fight this pandemic. So thank you very much. Congratulations to you both. Congratulations once again to our winners of these two COVID-19 specific categories and to all of our alumni working in the fight against coronavirus. On behalf of everyone here at ARU, I'd like to thank you for your tireless commitment to supporting others throughout the pandemic. Our last award this evening is the Alumni Lifetime Achievement Award, which recognizes one of our alumni who has distinguished themselves for their excellent and sustained contributions and achievements in their chosen field over their professional lifetime. This individual began his teaching career in 1969 with his first headship in 1980, followed by two further headships spanning a period of 25 years. Recognizing his contribution to education, he was invited to a garden party at Buckingham Palace in 1992 and a luncheon with Prince Charles at Highgrove in 2004. He gained his MA in education in 2016 and lectured at ARU and is presently a consultant supporting schools across London and Essex, an inclusion quality mark ambassador and chair of governors. We are extremely proud of all that he has achieved and the impact he has made throughout his professional life. A truly inspirational member of ARU's alumni community. Please join us in congratulating our Lifetime Achievement winner, Roger Leake. Well, thank you, very, thank you so much for this award. Um, I wanted to be a, a teacher from the age of eight years of age, uh, and I never thought I'd ever um, become a head teacher. I never certainly didn't think I'd be receiving an award like this. Um, my career started in uh, September 1969 uh, when I got my first headship and I was a head for 25 years in three schools in Essex. And um, I've been recognised at Buckingham Palace with the Garden Party and Highgrove with Prince Charles. Um, and I've had outstanding Ofsted inspections. And also um, I was... Um, recognized by the Secretary of State when I formally retired from teaching. But I couldn't give up then, and um, I've continued to work in schools. And only yesterday I was in a year three class in a primary school where I'm chair of governors with the head teacher doing an observation. I, I actually love it. Um, I, I don't think I'll ever um, want to uh, finish my time in primary education. I could not, couldn't have achieved this without um, uh, contributions uh, from many people who supported me and believed in me. Um, and I'd like to thank those people, far too numerous to mention, um, but particular thanks to Anglia Ruskin University, where I decided to um, do an MA in uh, 2016. To, uh, and I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that year. And also the year after when I also um, uh, did some lecturing, they asked me to do some lecturing in education. Uh, but I'd also like to thank my wife, who has st stood by me and encouraged my continued working. Um, I'm 74 years of age now, and I, I want to continue to work uh, for another few years yet. But thank you very much, Anglia Ruskin University, for uh, this award. Thank you. And that concludes what has been a fantastic evening of celebration. Please join me once again in congratulating our shortlisted alumni and winners tonight on their wonderful achievements.
We are deeply proud of our alumni and what they go on to achieve after leaving Anglia Ruskin University and take pride in our long lasting connection with you all. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has attended this evening and would like to thank our events team and Hart Wilcox for helping us run such a fantastic event. All that is left for me to do is to say good night to our attendees and invite our award winners and runners up to join an after event celebration, which you should all have received the details for. Good night.